Hello, this is AIA Farmer, and welcome to set set number 8019, Star, Lego Star Wars Attack Shuttle Review. Welcome. So first we will start off with the figures. This is the Clone Pilot 2008. It is the Clone Wars version, very clean. If you pop it off, if you pop off the head, you'll get your standard clone head. Very nice. Am I the only guy who hated the F, the uh, angry clone heads? They had that from like the newer sets. They finally fixed that in the 2000 or the 2020 battle pack. But okay, here's the next figure that comes with the set: the regular Phase One Clone War style minifigure for clone. Again, if you pop off the helmet, you just get your standard clone head. Well, I wish it was still the standard. Not what they use anymore, but the Clone Wars clone head looks very good. I mean, they all look like the clones because, you know, clones. Okay, there's that. The next figure, we have Mace Windu purple with the purple lightsaber. Looks very clean. Uh, some people don't like the animated head. I think he looks pretty good. Um, there's no leg printing or arm printing or even back printing, which is kind of sad, but I mean, that's just how it was at the, t at the time for 2008. So overall, not a bad fig. I'd highly suggest it. And now we will move on to the attack shuttle. Okay. Now starting on to the attack shuttle, we have the front, the two turrets on the front spin for if you ever wanted to make them spin I'm not sure why but I mean they can if you want them to so then on the front you have these two cannons so they go up and down they don't go side to side or anything they just go up and down then the hatch the pilot cockpit opens up in the front then this back part opens up here so that way you can easily fit two figures in get a good look in there then your clone pilot fits easily in. Hold on one second. Then you put him in the squat position or the sitting, and boom, and fits your clone pilot. And then you can, if you have another clone pilot, you can just put him in there. That closes nicely up. And sometimes you just gotta wiggle this a little to make it give it some room. But there's that feature. Moving on, we have the wingspan, which is very big. Giant wings look very good. If you pick it up, you can, if you pick the model up, then you can get a little bit more wingspan down, but <clears throat> I'm only doing this one-handed and I'm in a noob, noob at this, so. Okay, the next feature, I'm just gonna lift these wings, this wing back up so that we can move it, but this next feature is the flick fire system. Ah. Okay, well, anyway, there's a deal there. But on the back, there's a mechanism in here, so you hit this in the back, and then that'll shoot out if you're if it works right. There we go. Then I'll shoot through, and then that'll shoot those, and then the ammo clip will fall right out, which is a really cool feature, if you ask me. Okay, and then the back, pretty sharp. It's got the engines. Doesn't look bad overall. Looks really nice folded up or swing or folded out. Either way, looks good. Okay, now we will move on to the interior. Okay, now to access the interior, take these two switches on the side. Zoom in here. Basically take this switch, flip it out from the bottom like that, and that'll free it on this side. Same on the other side. You can just take this yellow switch, flip that out. Then you just literally flip open the top. Inside you can see the mechanism. A little bit more in depth, that'll shoot the flick fire. Okay, then the really cool part is you this is where you can sit Mace Window if you want to, right down here in this blue chair. Sit him like that. Take this, take the lightsaber off. Then put that, say, right here if you want. Like that. You can also put blasters there. 
if you want to. That's just kind of Mesa's command center. Then here you can, these are your loading bays for your meth, your bombs. <clears throat> really cool setup. I, fa I found if you have your flipper deal up like this, if you flip the back to drop the bombs, it'll drop both at once. Flip this deal down, and then it'll only drop one for once. I meant one, one time, and then it'll reset. So I'll show you that feature in a minute. And I think that's the, and that's it for the interior. Okay, we'll move on to the bomb system on the outside. And now is the bombs on the back. You flip this little flipper here, turn that down, and then that will unload the bombs. And then I have it set on two, one, but if you have it partially, like I said, then that'll unload the two. One thing to note with this set, it does come with this piece to this piece to hold up the cockpit, except this falls off a lot because it has a lot of pressure or tension on it. So you'll need to put that on frequently and. I haven't lost one yet, but I, may, I might at some point. So basically that's just under there to hold up, so that way that doesn't flop down. But there, that's not properly hooked up. There we go. Okay, well, now we will move on to the ending. Overall, I would say this set is very awesome. I love it. Display is great. Uh, just one thing to note is when you're move, picking it up, there's no really good defined handle. So if you pick it up by this part here, that there are bricks that this will come up of. And then when you do pick it up and those come loose, then the set will fall, shatter, and well, you get to chase pieces around. So you got to be very careful when picking it up there. It's kind of a catch-22 where you pick it up. It's kind of fragile in those places. But functionality, play features, it's great. I'd highly suggest this set. Um, the figures, they look amazing. I mean, it's kind of a personal preference for it at all, but I would highly recommend the set. I got it for $100, and I think it was worth it. If, you can get, if you're into the Clone Wars and Legos, Star Wars, I would definitely look into investing in the set. I found this for $100 on Facebook Marketplace. I know there's a few cheap ones on there, about a hundred bucks too. If you were interested, I'd check those out. There's also some on eBay. <clears throat> then you can only get like a sealed one on Amazon, which is like 300 bucks, which is ridiculous. But then overall, I'd say this is a very good set. And I thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more, let me know in the comments. So please like, comment, subscribe for more. Good day.